Welcome lads, we are back for another video. Today we are looking at 85 rated team of the season card, Shelby. He has got 71 pace, 82 shooting, 88 passing, 82 dribbling, 74 defending and 86 physical. Two star skill moves, three star weak foot, medium medium work rates, six feet tall, very complete midfielder. He's not the best cam, but when you play him at centre mid, he's going to intercept passes. He's going to pass the ball effectively. He can shoot. Not the best finisher, but a very good long shot taker. He's strong. He can dribble. Only has two-star skill moves, which is a bit of a disappointment. But because you're not really using him in a more attacking role, it's not the end of the world. He's going to set up a lot of goals. A very good player for around 26 to 36,000 coins. But now let's move on to some in-game stats. Looking at his skill stats, he's got decent ball control at 84 with 84 dribbling, 75 finishing, 81 free kick accuracy, 85 heading accuracy, 93 long passing, 90 long shots, 95 shot power and 92 short passing. Now when we look at this guy's physical stats, he has 78 attacking positioning, 89 vision, 69 acceleration, 69 agility, 75 balance, 72 jumping, 80 reaction, 72 sprint speed. 86 stamina and 86 strength very good stats for what this guy does he's not an attacking midfielder really because he doesn't really have that high attacking positioning and the finishing is very low but when it comes to strength he's got enough pace but it's not the end of the world sort of pace he can shoot the ball from distance he can pass the ball like nobody's business a very complete midfielder but now let's move on to some highlights i did play a few games with him at camp but I really feel centre mid or CDM is his best position. He can score goals, but he's not great at it, and it's just a frustrating thing. Obviously, if you stuck a Hunter card on him, and you really wanted to play him at Cam, because that was the chemistry-wise, it's there, but because of the two-star skill moves, it's very lacking, frankly. But centre mid and CDM, great player, because he's going to set up goals. He's going to disrupt the opposition's attack. He's going to run forever. He's strong. He's going to hold the ball up very good player I really was surprised how much I liked him yes he has two star skill moves but as I said before not a problem if you play him at the centre mid someone like Casemiro who I believe is one of the best players in the entire game for the centre mid role he has two star skill moves great player and he's going to score some bangers from outside the box he's going to score finesse goals he's going to power it He's just not going to score the kind of breakaway chance if it's in a kind of a tight angle. But his dribbling is second to none, really. He's going to play that long pass into the striker. And he's going to be shooting from distance. And if you're like me that likes to score a lot of goals from distance, then this guy is your man. Obviously, being English and plays in the EFL Championship, linking him up is easier than, say, if he was like Australian and played in that league. But, you know, you've got to play with a lot of English players that get him into a team. A very good kind of super sub because he can disrupt play and he is going to score a goal every once in a while. But anyways, that's the end of this video. Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.